welcome to BYU Radio's Big Stories, a show dedicated to the incredible tales surrounding the opponents of the BYU Cougars. I'm your host, Cleon Wall. There's a lot of magic that happens when you bake. Heather Davis loves to bake, and that love affair with baking started with her mom. During Christmas, and we would make holiday cookies together, and I come from a really large family. And so whenever I had that one-on-one time with my mother, it was um, just the two of us. I didn't have to share with anyone. And it was just a magical moment. Everything goes back to my mother. She, you know, was a chef. And so she taught me how to bake, but she did not want me to go into any food business at all. She just, um, she didn't believe that it was profitable. So Davis became a teacher instead but the baking bug never left her. Then one day, a parent put an idea into her head that was just so delicious. He pulled me aside one day and he said, you know, you can inspire your your students just as much as an entrepreneur as you do in the classroom. But just because you love baking and people love your lemon bars does not guarantee that you will become a successful business owner. In today's episode, we show how Heather and other entrepreneurs are succeeding with help from the University of Houston's SURE program. So I'm Saleha Kumawala. I'm a professor of accounting um, here at the Bio College of Business at the University of Houston. But the entrepreneurs and students who work with her call her by a different name, Dr. K. You know how you have Beyonce and the Beehive? We're like, we're the Dr. K hive. This is business owner, Legina Harris. She's like, go, and we're like, yes, ma'am, what you need? We're like, ready to go for her. Before Dr. K accumulated her hive of devoted followers and founded Houston's Shore program, she was a young Muslim girl growing up in India. Social justice has been the cornerstone of my faith, deep-rooted into me by my parents. We had a little little girl that was a helper at home. And just basically, uh, you know, the parents uh, told my mother, if you can feed her, clothes her, we have nothing, but and teach her. You know, that will make her life. And I remember very vividly one day telling my mother, why are you sending her off at 10 o'clock when there is, when you've got to prepare lunch and there's, she's gone from 10 to three when it's a real time you need help. And my mom said, no, she needs education. She needs education and we have to send her to school. And, and my father's principal, and I will uh, never forget this, he said, Um, you're accountable for every day of your life here on earth. If you have done something to help someone that day, then that's one day you are less accountable for. Those lessons truly are the bedrock of the SURE program. SURE is an acronym for stimulating urban renewal through entrepreneurship. It's a very innovative, unique platform. It creates a value-added partnership between the students the under-resourced entrepreneurs and executives from the business community. Students act as consultants to multiple entrepreneurs. I have no textbook, no exams. Okay, it's all experiential learning, hands-on, real-world application of the theories you have learned in your other courses. It's, it has two goals: um, uh, to develop. Uh, the human-centric skills that the students need for the future of work, and to economically empower under-resourced entrepreneurs. And those enterprising go-getters come to the program with big dreams but little know-how. Some have just an idea. Others have started their business but haven't figured out why they are not making money. And there are others who just want to take their business to the next level. Kylie Summers was one of those entrepreneurs. I am the founder of Spin Debt, and we are a financial technology company helping people pay off debt every time they swipe the debit card or have a banking transaction. Growing up, Kylie's family barely made ends meet. In college, he racked up over $140,000 of debt. It took seven and a half years for Kylie and his wife to become debt free. But what we realized it was people close to us, family, friends, uh, and you know, acquaintances that were you know, going further into consumer debt. And so we wanted to find a way to help them. So God planted this idea in my head to help people spend money and pay off debt. And that was the birth of, of Spend Debt. Spend Debt has access to clients' bank accounts 
and makes micro payments to creditors every time customers spend money. Let's take Sarah. Sarah goes to Starbucks every day faithfully to buy her favorite cup of joe from Starbucks. Her favorite cup of coffee is $5. Automatically, $1 is added to that transaction. $5 will go to Starbucks, $1 will go towards her Navy student loan. Students need to learn financial literacy and why credit is so important. So th th that it's not just helpful for the entrepreneurs, it's helpful for our own students. Uh, we had a customer come to us, Ms. Jones. Uh, she elected for her micro payment to be $1.75. She was with us for six months. Uh, she was able to pay off $1,255. But that's not it. She paid off one buy now, pay later installment loan and two credit cards. But that's not it. By her being aggressive and by her using the micropayments, she was able to raise her credit score from a 520 to a 665. But one more thing. She was now able to position herself to buy her first home. Kylie couldn't have done it without Houston's SURE program. The SURE program was absolutely amazing. It was actually our launch pad. And obviously it's the business plan, it's the financials, it's the, um, you know, the value proposition, it's all, the, all those things. But to have the interaction um, and the team of folks that can be the passenger in the vehicle and it can point out the blind spots that you, you might not see as a kind of a novice or a, a new founder or a new business leader. Um, they helped me gain a new perspective and helped me develop my business acumen at the same time I was launching in, into the public. My name is Bilkis Adeyemi. My name is DJ Buenaventura. My name is Michaela Lemons. These three are some of the student consultants helping entrepreneurs accomplish their aspirations, each having their reason for taking this class. I had a very keen interest into consulting. For me personally, going through this program has taught me like as an aspiring entrepreneur that I can, like if I can make three business plans for three different people, completely different businesses, then yes, I can actually make my own business plan. I had some friends who took the class last semester and they told me that uh, we get out and help the people in the community. And you know, it's pretty important for me because my granddad literally lives like five minutes away. So we still live kind of in the third ward area and I see a lot of struggling uh, people. So it was important for me to get out and help the community um, build their businesses. Um, as much as we could in helping, you know, especially minorities and people who don't have as much access to like capital and stuff. I would say it was kind of cool over the course of the semester, you see your entrepreneur's confidence build um, to where it's like, can I do this too? I'm excited to do this. Um, and so seeing them be super excited and confident in their business was really rewarding because it's like, yeah, I'm, you know, I want to catch up with you, see how this goes. My name is Hannah and I'm actually a senior consultant with the class. And so my role as senior consultant is to work with the consultants that we have here. Hannah Siddiqui is an entrepreneur, adjunct professor at the University of Houston, and a former student consultant. So um, yeah, when I was in the class, I had three businesses. One of them was a husband and wife duo. And the beautiful thing also about this class is to this day, I still talk to one of my entrepreneurs mm -hmm. from 2019. I helped her and her business. They like almost two or three X their um, income after I worked with them in Shore and then COVID happened. Uh. And then after COVID, me and the wife reconnected. And when we, when we reconnected, she then came to me to help me build her other business. Every class topic, corresponds to a module of the business plan. So by the end of the semester, the um, entrepreneurs have a professional grade business plan and they have also learned how to pitch. Students and entrepreneurs need to learn that pitch process because they have their own version of the television show, Shark Tank, but they're a bit more friendly and call the experience the aquarium. And uh, that's when the bankers come and the entrepreneurs pitch. Uh, uh, and this is how they get access to capital. The secret sauce is the entrepreneurs getting to, first coming to campus, being in the classroom, being with the, with the students that have paid thousands of dollars to get a degree, and meeting with executives, for ex you know, the executives uh, from the corporate world. Coming up next, how one SURE program beneficiary overcame life-changing trauma 
to inspire other aspiring entrepreneurs. Welcome back to BYU Radio's Big Stories podcast about the University of Houston's SURE program, which helps eager, underfunded entrepreneurs become successful business owners. The first thing that the SURE program did for me was gave me an opportunity. That's the biggest thing. I think that that's what we're all needing and we're all looking for. You know, opportunity goes further than anything. Arnisha Sadler is the founder and CEO of Eminence Call Center. It's for inbound and outbound calls that assist with customer service, technical support, um, and also community outreach and engagement. Arnisha's opportunity with the SURE program came after tragedy and inspiration. In 2017, I was homeless due to domestic violence, and I couldn't find a job, and so I prayed, and God gave me this crazy idea about starting my own call center, and I said, um... I don't know how to do that. I know how to be an operations manager, but to actually run a call center? And then I'm homeless in this motel. Arnisha went forward with faith. The money slated for rent went to paying for an LLC. Without extra funds for rent, an employee at the hotel told Arnisha she had to leave. But then she called Arnisha back. You've been here for over a month. I said, okay. I gotta go now. <laughs> Just no, no, no. Since you've been here over a month, there's something that's called a tax exempt credit. Like if you're at the, if you stay at a hotel or something for more than a month, you get like a tax exempt as if it's your residence. So I actually had money left on my account. So I said, what are you saying? Well, you don't have to go. You don't have to leave. I say, really? She said, yeah, you have a credit on your account. I say, oh, thank you. I started a call center in a motel room. I still struggle with imposter syndrome to see if I'm good enough, if I am if I have all the tools and right resources, but I just put one foot in front of the other and I let today take care of today because um, I have a strong faith, like my faith is strong, like I'm talking like on steroids strong, like right? Like, so that's all I know. I found out about the SURE program in 2019. Um, it was after several failures of getting into another business competition and the SURE program was recommended and so I applied and surprisingly, I got accepted. I was so excited because it was the first uh, business entrepreneur cohort that really accepted me and believed in me after others had failed and said, nope, you're not good enough. Go back to the drawing board. She is a source, a source of inspiration for a lot of people that give up and say, how, how, oh, we'll never be able to do it. And she says, no, there is. You, you will be able to do it. And now for her to win the, the biggest contract from Harris County. Which I'm most proud of, and I consider it to be historic, is being a part of the uh, Harris Health New LBJ Hospital Project, where our historic um, hospital for more than 30 years is finally being rebuilt from the ground up, and I have had the great opportunity to be the contact call center for this project. And so, like I say, it's historic because my legacy will be here forever. I can say, hey, I helped this project and I helped build this hospital. Heather Davis's legacy will be built on satisfying sweet tooths. The one that I enjoy most is when someone's eyes roll to the back of their head. They're like, whoa, what did you do to this lemon bar? <laughs> yeah, that's rewarding. Davis was the potential entrepreneur at the beginning of this episode who wanted to leave school teaching behind and become a baker of sugary and tart treats. I walked away from my stable career and it felt like I was walking off of a cliff, you know? We will have entrepreneurs that will come with an idea or a recipe like Heather to somebody that already has a business but is in red and doesn't know why they're working so hard and not making any money. I discovered the SHEAR program two years after I left education. I've got the best lemon bars in the, in the business, but I did not have a plan and the SURE program helped me develop a business plan. And after that business plan, I knew all the components. After graduating from the program, Heather started selling her lemon bars and other confections at a coffee shop inside of a Nordstrom department store. Then she started selling her goods at an even bigger coffee shop. Here we are 10 years later and I'm opening up my storefront. The store is called Chic Sweets. A couple days ago, my mother was sitting right here in the bakery 
and I gave her a pumpkin bar while I, while I did my thing. I had like one more hour of work to do. And um, she came to the back and she said, um, I'm just sitting in the lobby and I'm just thinking like, you really did this. She didn't have to say, I'm proud of you. She didn't have to say anything else. I just knew that I had her approval and we embraced right back here in the kitchen. And honestly, if I don't do anything else with my business, if I close the doors tomorrow, I have reached the pinnacle. The Shore program was heaven sent. And so was Dr. Kumawala. Just last week, she helped me solve a problem um, with pricing my lemon bars. Um, and I mean, she's still, <laughs> she's still giving. She's very giving, um, just a wonderful person. There's a, a very uh, a fundamental um, uh, principle. You treat others the way you want to be treated. You serve others what you would like to eat. Dr. K's hope is that everyone who participates in the program will become self-sustaining in the future. Not only that they are self-sustainable and that the businesses are sustainable, but ultimately for them to have an impact in, on their communities and, and their families and really get up the, uh, the economic ladder. You know, that builds self-esteem for your family. Uh, emotionally, it's very healing. It's not the money. It's when you touch people by the heart is what makes a real difference. Thanks for listening to BYU Radio's Big Stories. This episode was produced by Nathan Cannon and me, Cleon Wall. Music and post-production by Kevin West. Make sure you watch BYU TV's Big Stories by logging on to BYUSN.com. Big Stories is a production of BYU Radio. This is our last episode of Season 1 of Big Stories on BYU Radio. It's been fun sharing these amazing accounts of real people in the Big 12. Hopefully they've inspired you like they've inspired me. Our big news is that we are planning season two of BYU Radio's Big Stories. Our team is scouring the Big 12 and other destinations for amazing tales we can tell next football season and basketball season. That means our next episode will not drop until a few days prior to BYU's football game against Southern Illinois. Until that time, give Big Stories a rating and review on your favorite podcast provider and tell your friends, neighbors, relatives, casual acquaintances, or anyone else about the Big Stories podcast. Thanks again to everyone who downloaded and listened to the Big Stories podcast, and we shall have more big stories for you this fall.